Uh, so it's uh, 8.46 p.m. <laughs> I feel a bit bad. Uh, I've got to get ready to go to the job agency. It's 8.46 p.m. Monday, 9th January 2016. Uh, so, uh, I, I washed my... I washed my... Uh, I washed this. Now I can use this. Now I can use this to do my makeup. Uh, so, yeah, I was. I had that thing to tie my hair, but I just seem to have lost it. Must have dropped. Uh, I was having. A, I was having a hard time trying to um, figure out what to wear. <laughs> I can't believe it. it's so hard to figure out what to wear. What works uh, so that was a bit of a chore so I'm settling for this this is not something I usually wear it's like a long skirt thing so it's like wearing this long skirt so no that's what I'm wearing <laughs> I settled on that so Oh man, it's so hard to put this damn makeup on. I hate this lighting and I hate this damn light. I can't see anything. This is stupid. I have to put the light. Well, here it is. This damn thing is like... <laughs> I'm like so... This is much easier to apply. Mm -hmm. It's so much easier. Why didn't I wash this before? <sighs> I should be finished soon, but. <laughs> I got up at. I got up. I got up, Eddie. Uh, no, don't fall in there. Mm. Oh, great, it's got all this dog hair in it. I need to get some more of these things. Like, I'm just so tired. <sighs> So yeah, my uh, my um, oh, I feel like my body is becoming more feminine, and and I feel like um, yeah. You know, so so, I think my weight today was sixty five point seven. It's been around that same mark for the past couple of days. So I guess I have to add some. Uh, I have to add some uh, exercises. Let me see what my weight was. It was 65.7 for the past three days. On the 6th of January, it was 65.5. So, <clears throat> that's good. Oh, look, uh, that's the, the, the light from the computer is good. Look, look if, I, if I minimize that. See how it's dark? If I uh, maximize it, it's like, oh, there's some light flying. Hey, that, that, that's, that's better. So I'll put that, uh, you know. Uh, background there, so yeah, <laughs> like, uh, that's what I need. <clears throat> A better lighting, better lighting. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, hmm, mm, so, you know, yeah, I gotta go to this job, you can see, and, oh, God, yeah, yeah I, I want to, I want to get a job this year, that is one of my goals, it's one of my New Year's resolutions, is to get a job, 
and uh, I know I have a lot of uh, energy issues and I have um, I have anxiety and I have paranoia social anxiety and uh, I like I have poor self-esteem but uh, even though I have all of these problems it's good that I acknowledge I have these problems so then I can have the humility uh, to uh, better myself because sometimes if you if you pretend you don't have a problem and you know then it's like it's like you can't fix something if you don't acknowledge that it exists and the you know mental health problems it's not like <clears throat> it's an invisible illness that may manifest itself with physical well it usually does manifest with behavior and uh you know thinking patterns and sometimes in really bad cases your perceptions of the world maybe uh, because your brain is damaged you might have uh, you know illusions and visions some people have that but um you know so mental health is an invisible illness so you have to you, know, you have to acknowledge that these things exist and uh, if you acknowledge them then you can do something about it so it's so good it's so easy putting <laughs> the foundation on with this oh man it's so easy i was using my uh you know, my hands before it's like oh that's so this is makes it so much easier and it's also it's like it's not it's not you're not like the, with a brush if you do like that your skin can you know be stretched this if you pat like that it's 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 good for your skin because uh um, you know you're not gonna you know create wrinkles and all that <sighs> so uh yeah I believe that there. I, I, I do want to get some. I, I, I want to get a my foundation because it's finishing, and I want to get a lipstick and a lip liner and a hairbrush. I did put that in a. In, in, I, I go to this online store to do my um, makeup uh, shopping. It's called Mecca, Mecca Cosmetica or Mecca Maxima, and. Um, <clears throat> It's weird because I haven't spoken out loud. It's hard for me to speak. It's, it's, it, that's so weird because I spend all the time by myself and I haven't been making a lot of videos. And like today I'm making this video <clears throat> and my voice is like uh, very weird. It's like because I haven't really spoken to anyone. So it feels kind of odd. Like my vocal cords haven't been used or something. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, maybe if I practice uh, my voice, that'll give me some uh, you know, training. I can, uh, you, know, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, two birds with one stone. Why do you want to? Why do you want to hit a bird? Who made that expression? Do two things at the same time. So. So, yeah, that's what I gotta do, I gotta do. Oh, my brother brought his, uh, his, you know, he, I built a computer for him. It's a pretty good computer. It's got six cores and it's a pretty good computer. And uh, for some reason, he, like, he didn't, like, the hard disk stopped working or something. So, and he bought another one. So he bought he brought that back here, so I could set that up because my you remember my Windows computer stopped working about a year ago, I still haven't fixed it. So, so I could I could I could use that computer and get my Windows back on and you know I've got a lot of software and Windows, but I like uh, I've been using Mac and I kind of like it. You know, 
today I didn't have a lot of hair like when I brush my hair in the morning I noticed that a lot of hair comes like a, you know hair comes out but today I didn't have a lot of hair loss because I've been uh, it's a combination of my diet if I eat my veggies too uh, it really that you need you need those nutrients to help your hair grow and and your scalp stay healthy so when I, I notice that whenever I eat my veggies too uh, I don't lose that much hair and I also put that coconut oil thing once a week so that also helps um, so yes uh, if you want to have healthy hair you need to have a good diet I do take biotin I actually ordered two more of these uh, they're like 20 25 dollars or 20 these are not quite a bit expensive like but, you know, I have to order it from the states, from this site called Bio BioVea. They have like, they have an Australian website and a U.S. website, but um, I think they ship everything from the U.S. So I ordered two more of those biotin, 500 microgram, and I also ordered like two, uh, you know. Uh, cans or things of uh, ground organic flaxseed yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so anyway so that's me uh, it's 8.58 a.m. so I will uh, you know continue to blog about this and you know I'll make videos when I'm going out and all that and uh, yeah I'll uh, upload this video later and I'll just like Damn it, this lighting. Anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with my you know, body development, and you know, I feel like, you know, hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to lose some weight around my tummy area. In the morning, when I look at myself in the mirror, because I'm weighing, I feel like, oh shit, because in the morning my body isn't bloated, so it, it looks a little, a little pretty good, decent enough. You know, I've got a short, like my waist is like here and. My hips show a little bit, so. But you know, I'm happy with my transition, so I'm happy. Anyway, so it's eight fifty nine a.m. I will uh, talk to you guys. Uh, you know, I'll come back later. Yeah. All right, so that's how I look. I'm wearing this. Uh, this thing does have a bit of a flare type thing in the front. Oh yes, my back is not that bloated, but a little bit maybe. But uh. Yeah, so. Hey, that's me. Oh shit. What the fuck? It shows a. Hmm? Oh my god, I just I shaved in the morning. Uh, people got embarrassed. You notice it? I, I didn't put that red. I don't know, it's not really that noticeable. It's like, oh, whatever. It's gonna be a long guy, unless you really look for it. Yeah, it's. I've seen some women with <laughs> hair over there. It's not, it's not, it's very fine and uh, uh, it's not like a thick hair, but it's like, I've seen some women have it. <sighs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> I am, I am going now. Uh, okay. <sighs> the uh, appointment was like long it's like 45 minutes
It's a neat, I had to talk to a different person. Uh, yeah, well, she's very, uh, she knows exactly what she's doing. She's very uh, business-like, you know. All right, so it was all right. Um, so I've got to attend my next appointment next Wednesday, or she said she'll send me an email saying if I have to see the counselor or I feel very exhausted. I feel exhausted. Look at all these things in um, yeah, so. Anyway, so I will. I'm gonna call my mom, see if she can pick me up or something. I gotta go home. got off the bus and I'm walking home now. It's so sunny. Look at how sunny it is. Yeah, I don't know. My mom said she, she, she went to the pool to swim. <laughs> uh, the, I mean, like in the morning when she dropped me off, that's where she was going. But. Uh, I couldn't get her on the phone, so I had to catch the bus. Yeah. Uh, it's so hot. It is so hot, 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 hot. So the uh, person I was interacting with, my employment consultant, she seemed very uh, experienced, like she's got lots of uh, work experience in this area. She was very like, uh, you know, uh, business-like, like do this, 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 this. So, mm. all right, that's, that's fine. Good enough for me. <laughs> I actually told her in the beginning, like, oh, I don't, uh, she was asking about, uh, why do you want to come on Mondays and Tuesdays? And I said, I don't like, uh, it's for transportation, and I don't like taking public transport. And she goes, well, you know, uh, if, if, if you, <laughs> we've got to get you to, um, d you know, develop different routines, and, you know, because if you tell an employer you can't do this and that, they, they won't hire you, and... So when I heard that, I was like, oh, fuck. I just, I just like, I just became a bit low. But then, you know, I said, oh, okay, you know, I'll come on Wednesdays, because that's when she wants to have her appointments. I can go on Wednesdays, but the reason I changed it was because 
I don't know why I, I don't know, I had to cancel an appointment once anyway. So, yeah, you know, it's just what's the thing, you know, it's like, it's coercion. Work is coercion. The whole society is coercive in nature. Uh, if you receive benefits, it, it's, uh, you know, it's like a contract, I guess, but it's, you know, if you really want true, a lot of freedom, you, you need to either like live in the jungle or something, or fend for yourself, uh, you know, along with the other animals. And <laughs> but if you live in civilization, civilization is inherently coercive. You have to do lots of things you don't want to do in order to, you know, so if you have lots of money, if you are well off, you don't have to deal with all of this stuff. You can just do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about talking to people. You can stay by yourself and not have to worry about anything. So, so maybe, you know, that's a good idea just to get, just become very, fairly rich enough so you don't have to deal with this. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm too old <laughs> so for that I have to spend the rest of my life. <sighs> I'm dealing with this, I don't know. Anyway, I'm home, so I'm, uh, yeah. Well, so it's 12.19. I'm at home, uh, so I'll just sort of. I'm so tired. I am so tired. I want to get some sleep. Uh, oh yeah, so I just. Uh, oh, I got an email from her, and I gotta get. I have to see the counselor on um, Thursday, so I'm gonna go out again. On Thursday. Uh, so anyway, so yeah, I didn't tell her I was transgender, and she thought I was you know, a cisgender girl. <laughs> so people can't really tell. They can't. I don't know, man. I was sitting outside. I was waiting for the bus, and these two. I don't know, guys, they were like teenagers or whatever. They were walking by and I don't know, they were looking at me and I just looked up and this guy was like looking at me. It's like, and then he goes and he says something to his friend, like, and they start laughing. I'm like, what the fuck are you laughing about? But then I saw them coming back again and this time they weren't laughing or anything, so. I don't know. I don't think they thought it was true. I don't know. I felt like, hey, is that, is that, is that guy telling to the, his friend, hey, man, that, that, that's... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. So that's me being paranoid, I guess. But um, because when they came back, they weren't, you know, it was like, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know, whatever. Um, because, you know, I'm an employment consultant because um, they, they have my stupid old resume on their system with the stupid, old, my old name on it. I'm like, and she was like, is, is that you? And I'm like, no, 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 that's my old name. Uh, I don't think she could tell whether the names were sounding masculine or feminine <laughs> because my old name, you know, my full name. Um, <laughs> and I said, no, that's my old name. And then I had to update my resume. So I, I gave her my... Uh, USB stick and then she goes oh good girl good girl she was like you know calling me a girl and so um, I don't know if my um, the other guy I told him I was trans I don't know if he told her. I don't think that he did so I don't think they should be saying things like that anyway but so yeah I, you know the thing is you know I don't want to tell people I'm trans because once you tell them that then they start treating you differently or you know, it's just it just gets weird. It's like to so to keep things very simple. You know, not not complicated. My life is already so complicated. I just don't want additional complications. So, if people know you're trans, they just 
I don't know. It just gets a bit. <laughs> it's like funny because they, you know they treat they used to people are so used to treating you as either a man or a woman, but when you're trans, it's like what are they? It's it it just it just seems very. Uh, there's this you're like a different. There's this. Di you get othered you, you, you there is this kind of subtle change uh, or something i feel self-conscious so as well so maybe it's uh, to help me as well so yeah, i don't you know I'm, i didn't tell her i was trans and you know whatever so the you know interaction was not that complicated <sighs> i just allowed myself to feel what i was feeling usually when i'm dealing with people i always i'm always trying to please them or impress them but this time I allowed myself to feel whatever I was feeling. So if I was feeling stressed or if I was feeling tired or if I was, you know, whatever. I just, you know, I was just being quiet and just being myself and answering her questions. So I allowed myself to feel what I was feeling. So that was good. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's my video. Uh, Mm-hmm. <laughs>